I am Natalie Herkes. I'm Kezia Corshaw, and we're both studying theatre studies and drama. I first got involved in the arts, it was kind of a gradual process, like mm -hmm. doing little activities outside of school, and then I realised that it was something that I enjoyed. I first um, started this show with Synchronicity, Pride and Prejudice through, I'd done about 10 or 11 shows before, either with my schools or with Bendigo Theatre Company and Tribe Youth Theatre. Then a, a role opened up in Pride and Prejudice and that's kind of how I was introduced to a new theatre company that I really love now. Um, so for Synchronicity, um, my parents actually own the company. So um, I, from the very start, so this year is the sixth year that um, we've been doing shows. I'm, I live in Synchronicity, so it's at home. <laughs> I'm in the shows helping backstage, I'm helping paint sets, so I'm with it 24-7. And I think the arts in the community is so important because you learn like so many important things from it that it's, it's like, yeah. <laughs> I think the arts teach life skills and confidence in yourself, like personally for me I'm um, not brave, but then from being in the arts, like you learn to speak mm. in front of people. Playing the character in Pride and Prejudice, Mary, was a role that I is different from any role I've ever played before. She's very um, unique and very, some may say, just weird. <laughs> um, but I, I ended up really loving it and I just thought there was so much that I could do on stage because a lot of that role was just kind of left for me to it was kind of just Mary do whatever and so there's many scenes in the show that I just got kind of to take my own leash mm. and just have creative decisions over and it was really good. I don't actually think I could have done this role um, to the standard that I did um, if I didn't have the experience from past theatre because part, like when you do a lot of shows it just kind of you kind of learn a lot yeah. without even realising you have and so maybe you after doing a lot of shows you start to think in the mind of your character easier and you go okay this character would do this and they would react like this to someone saying that and you kind of do it without thinking about it. So I think the experience really helped um, with this role in particular. I think, yes, it is important to study in school because the skills that you learn, like personally for me, going, doing drama and theatre studies, I have learnt so much, more than I could have learnt, more than I have learnt in my high school. And I think that's helped me develop as an actor and just learning all of the different theatre styles and everything. I think that if I wanted to do something professional, perhaps I could maybe. Um, I've just, yeah, I think we learn a lot mm -hmm. and that's really important if you do want to become an actor. My long time girl goals. Um, well, I want to, end of this year, I want to apply for Melbourne Uni for an interior design course. Um, having um, for, theatre design, like stage design, and interior, which is so exciting. I'm so excited. Um, and But then I'll put it off for a year and have a gap year so I can save up money to go to Melbourne so I can live and have food and everything. <laughs> Long-term goals, well, I'll, for now, I'll just be taking a gap year to kind of just find myself and find my feet. And long-term, I really, I'm a very go-with-the-flow kind of person. So as long as my long-term future involves the arts somehow or involves that performing that I've been doing for like 10, 11 years now and have been loving, then I'll be happy. <laughs> I wish I'd known when I was 12 to practice. <laughs> like um, I auditioned because I did about four years at Nexus and I wouldn't practice before auditioning. And for some reason, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting good roles. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I think um, practice the songs and the dances that they give you. And yeah, I think just practice and like preparing yourself for a role is really important, not to just go in there. Because winging mm. it doesn't work every time. <laughs> if I could somehow go back in time and 
tell my 12 year old self anything. It would just be just to start earlier and just do the damn thing <laughs> because <laughs> oh, um, yeah. I've wasted so many years being like, oh no, 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 I'm not gonna start dance classes. It's not like I'm gonna be a dancer or anything. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I can't, I can't do that. I'm not, I don't have the skills. I don't have the, and now I am sitting here at 18 being like, I could have gone so much further. I'm still so happy with where I am now, but I could have gone so much further if I just had of just done it so much earlier. And I think that's a good example of it's never too late to start something if it's your passion. During Pride and Prejudice, there was one character, um, Mrs. Bennett, and just the way she spoke um, was just very funny. I thought <laughs> she was just high pitched. Um, and to each of her daughters, she would say their name in a different way, like Mary. Oh go, yeah, Mary. Yeah, just very. Yeah. Yeah. All the other daughters would be like funny. Jane, and then she'd be like Mary. Mary. <laughs> <laughs>